end off. This is my point end. Separating the point from the tube. I'm going to dip it in out of the flame and pull it back in the flame and rotate the tube. Okay. That's a cool trick. Now it's open. Yeah. Awesome. I'm gonna make a pupil with it. I'll melt the sand. Get it used to be. Push it over. Flatten it onto there. Go like that. Get my uh, tungsten. Knock it off in there. Get it out of here. Polish it. And that's that. It doesn't take much heat to polish it because it's so thin. Right. Yeah. I don't like this 
hot, the part that's hot doesn't like to touch stuff. So I have this thing. Yeah. It's just a piece of sheet metal with cuts in it. Folded and then cut. Probably with this scissors or something. Metal scissors. I'm pretty close because I want that high heat. Mm -hmm. I'm not too close. So at what point do you start doing that slight turn? Once it gets hot enough. There. Yeah, and I moved over to the right just a little bit. Well, if I moved over too fast, it would shock the glass. I'm gonna hit this spot a little bit. Get a ring over here on the left, right next to that gap, and power that up. And if we turn it in like this. I like picking up my points. Rotating, always rotating. Pull that off. This time I'm just going to pull it and melt it off, rotating that one. Don't really have to worry about that one. Rotate that one. Get it clean. Pull off there. start on this dude, a lot smaller, thinner, turn the flame down a little bit, so once it starts melting here, you're going to be balancing both these ends. And this end and this end. Once this middle part starts melting, you're going to be balancing in between here and here. With, your, uh, and with the weight. Yeah. That's what you want to do. You want to balance. It's going to and become two. Melting it's going to feel like it's going to become two. Yeah, so we're going to balance it. Okay, gotcha. that close enough? Uh, yeah, I think so. Okay. Okay. Powder fire. Oh, man. 
you just lost the position. Huh? Keep going. Just lost the position.
Okay, since that was too skinny, I'm going to pull another one. This tubing's so thin, you don't even really have to introduce it to the flame. You can just put it right in. Getting it hot, getting it hot. When it's hot enough, I'm going to take it out, balance it like this. Blow a little bit, and then I'm going to start pouring. Pour really slow, nice and easy. Don't pull it too long because it'll get skinny again. There, that's battle work. Got rid of that big diameter. Okay, that's why that was yeah. so much. It all depends on how much you want to take off, you know. Okay, that's a nice point. Take my point. That's still sharp. Knocked it and broke it off. That's what happened. You hit it on there. Refire it. Okay. Like that. Then see what? See how far I am away from the torch? Yeah, about two inches about. Yeah. Okay, that's good. Okay, now that that's starting to get hot, I'm going to move over just a little bit to the right. Heat in the ring right there. Right. Forward? That way. I move this to the left. I'm moving down the right hand end of the table. <coughs> now I'm moving this to the right. I'm moving the tube to the right. It's going to the left too. That's nice and hot. We've got a whole bunch of it hot, and I'm not pulling, if you notice. It's just holding it stationary together. Not pushing, not pulling. Now this hot. I'm gonna hold it up like this. Give it a blow, and then I'm gonna start pulling. Not too fast though, but you notice how I had to really get into it to get it going. Keep rotating and pulling. Stop about there. It's about a foot long. Long enough to where you won't burn yourself. And then we don't have to open these tubes. Unless of course you wanted to put a silver inside. Then you would do that dab in thing that I showed. going to dab into it. There we go. Getting it hot. Sticking it in there and pull it out in the flame. Give it a little rotate. Looks easy. It looks so easy. It ain't though. Okay, now, do it, it up. now what I'm going to do is I'm going to heat that up. Nice and hot. Mm. Mm. 
sugar is getting nice and hot, I got it rotating and everything. Now I'm going to take it out of the flame, flare it. I'm going back and forth like that. That helps me be able to just. And I have, I have this level. I, I have this level, and I have the reamer moving up and down. Not this. This is level. I'm moving my reamer up. That's all you're moving. That's yeah. how it's level the whole time. Pretty much. Okay. Yeah. Okay. It's now. The best we can do. Okay. Best angle we can do. Uh, it's all right. Good thing.
or I can put some color on. This is coated with clear, this color. I'm going to start at the tip. I'm going to follow the lines out the, uh, the curve of the glass. Because I have a line in the two edges or right here. That's where I can see where I'm going because the tubing stops on both sides and I can see if I'm going straight down. I'm going to polish this a little bit, the end of it. There you go. I'm going to go to the opposite end. Hot. Start at the tip, and I'm tilting it back as I got off the tip. I tilted it straight to where this isn't really in the flame so much. It's kind of like right under it. Okay, okay I'm going to start straight. Mm -hmm. Then after I get it on the front, I'm going to tilt it back. Or you can just do it straight, like this. Is it the same as the break before where you got to keep the flame ahead, keep heat ahead no. where that's going? No, because there's nothing to have to uh, stretch. That's for that abalone look. Okay. It helps to have it a little bit warm. If you're having trouble making it down, just do that a little bit. I showed you the rocking method. Right, right. Okay. You rock it, you rock it up, you rock it up this and down that, and as you're pushing. And you can push some with the point, you can push some with the stick. You can push them both. Okay. Got it. <clears throat> Just gotta be careful, make sure you are comfortable before you start doing stuff like that. Yeah. Kryptonite. Doesn't really look like kryptonite. Probably about four inches away to heat up this color. Four inches? Yeah. For kryptonite. For a lot of colors, you know. Yeah. You don't want to be like so close that you're Blasting. burning it. Okay. But I might be able to get closer, we'll see. Now I'm very slowly turning the color as I'm putting it down. See, it's rolling see, down yeah. my hand. See my hand? It's going further and further into my palm. And by the time I get to the end, I've used up all that space. Just in that one motion. Yeah. Turning it very slowly. By the time I get to the bottom, I'm all the way through the Or I can readjust. Kind of hard to do. But I just did it. Almost like holding it like a pencil. Yeah. Holding it like that. Don't flame polish it in good enough, it cracks. I should have flame polished that and that one at the end. Yeah. It ripped the whole seat. Yeah, I get a little gob of clear. And I'll put it over it. Pull off the excess.